everyone, it's Stormy Strike here, and welcome to the Collection Unboxing Series Part 5. You do not need to see any of the other parts of this series to enjoy this video, but if you would like to watch the other parts and the video that shows and explains how I acquired this collection, then I'll have the link to those videos in the description down below. In this video, we're actually going to be unboxing a bunch of mystery stablemates. I have no idea what these models are going to be. When I got the collection, all of these were already wrapped up like this, so I seriously I have no clue what any of these stablemates are. This is going to be really, really fun and a fun surprise to open all of these up and see which models are in here. So without further ado, let me pull out some models and we'll start unwrapping them and see what's inside. I'm going to first start off with these two that look like customs, and the reason being because they were kind of just in this wax paper and you could kind of see them already. So I'm going to go ahead and open these ones up first, but then all the other ones, I seriously, again, have no clue what any of them are. So here we have a little custom Pegasus. This is really cute. It's got some fun purples and some really cute little gold wings on it. And I don't know who painted this. I don't know if the uh, collection owner Judy had painted this or if someone else had. There does not seem to be a signature or anything to indicate who did it. But it is a very cute little custom. I really like the little gold wings on it. That's a really nice touch. The next model here appears to be another custom. Ooh, this one's got really nice little wings as well. This is a little very metallic green foal with some really cute little black wings. Pull this in a little closer so you can see it better. This one's really pretty. I like the green a lot. This one actually does have, it looks like a signature on the bottom. And I honestly can't make it out, but it looks like possibly the initials MP, maybe. And it says 07, so it means it was done in 2007. I'm really liking that pretty metallic green on it and those little wings. Just adorable. All right, now we'll open up some of these completely mystery ones. I am very excited to see what we might find here. So this is how a lot of them look. They're just in these paper towels. And I'm going to carefully unwrap them. What do we have here? Oh, we have another custom, another very shiny metallic custom as well. This one is really fun. It's got a metallic shiny pink and then black painted on it. You can see it's got kind of like leopard spots. Oh, even the little bow is painted on the tail. That's so cute. But this is very fun, fun leopard spotted horse. And I'm trying to see if it has a signature. And again, I think it does actually, maybe. Looks like maybe... Does that say SB, maybe? I honestly can't tell if that is a signature or just spots, but it kind of looks like a signature on the inside of the leg. Not too sure, but this is another really fun custom. Very fun decorator customs going on so far. I realize I forgot to mention, but uh, these aren't all the stable mates in this collection, by the way. This is maybe around half or so. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe even less than half. So there will be another Stablemate unboxing video in the uh, future here. This looks like it has two models. We have a cute little Stablemate foal. This one is adorable. A little Leopard Appaloosa. And then next, there's like probably another foal in here. It is. Oh, I might actually have this one or something very similar. Cute little Dun foal, although it is unfortunately got a little broken ear. So there we have those two little cuties. Let's see who this is. This looks like another drafter and is also another uh, decorator. Fortunately, it does have a little bit of uh, paper here stuck to it a tiny bit, but that might be able to wash off easily enough. This one is a very pretty metallic purple. Uh, again, I'm not seeing a signature anywhere here, I don't think, but another fun little decorator custom. This one's just a nice solid purple with some little black accents and a little blue tail ribbon. Here is, ooh, this one's very pretty. This is a little Tennessee walking horse. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily put like the information of all of the models on screen or not, by the way, just because it does take a long time to uh, look up all their information and put it on the video. But I think I've been wanting this particular little uh, Tennessee walking guy because I love the coloring on that. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I just really like the color and the pattern. It is super cool. Here we have... Oh, I recognize this little guy. I actually believe I have one of him. He is the little Morgan, but this one is a little Pinto one. 
Super cute, really nicely done color on this one. I love the little splatters on him. That looks really nice. Very cute little guy. I won't be going into too much detail on all of these models, by the way, because there's just so many. I don't have time to go like crazy in detail on them. Well, this looks like another custom. It is kind of sticking to the paper like a custom, but just a tiny bit, not too bad. And it is yet another decorator. This one is a fun gold and white. It actually looks like the white on the legs are mostly the uh, bare plastic and then the mane and tail are bright painted white there. And again, I don't think I see a signature anywhere on the belly or anything. And yet another decorator. This one's really fun. It's like a faux wedge wood. It is unfortunately sticking to the uh, paper towel. That is what happens a lot uh, with the finish on customs. When it gets a little too warm, it tends to uh, stick to things. Fortunately, at least it can possibly be washed off. This one's really cool, though. I actually really like this. It's a fun little faux wedge wood. This one has even, I think, the bare white plastic showing for all of the white markings. And the little eyes are even painted on. Let's see if my camera can focus on that. But it's got a little cute kind of brown painted eyes. Now, this one does also have a signature on it. It looks like it says DG06, possibly. Again, not sure who exactly that is, but at least we do have a, a signature on that one. Oh, and we have another little decorator, but this one is actually an original finish. This, I believe, came from one of the little fantasy horse playset things that Briar did before. This is the Andalusian. It's got kind of a pinkish coat and a fun kind of light gold mane and tail. Oh, we have another custom here. This is very cute. This is another little Andalusian. This one is a pretty Palomino, but it has all these white markings painted on it. That is really sweet and adorable. I quite like that one a lot. Very cute. And this one does have a signature. It looks like it says 7H on it. At least that's what it looks like to me. Maybe it is not that and something else. I don't know. But it is a very cute little custom. Up here we have a little stable mate uh, set together actually. There we go. This is a little Native American set, which I might possibly have this model, maybe. I know I definitely don't have this cute little blanket that goes with it. We also got the little Native American rider. This uh, particular model is really pretty with those big Appaloosa spots. And he also has a little bit of war paint painted on him as well. You can see a bit on his shoulder, his face, and his haunches. I feel like I've already unwrapped a lot of stable mates and there's still so many left to go in this box. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This guy, I recognize him. I can't recall what he is from from exactly, but he is like a little miniature version of this jade inspired horse that Briar did. So I will put his information on screen if I can find it because I'm wondering myself what this guy came from exactly. I recognize him, but I do not remember what he came from. He is very cool though. I'm usually not too big into like the jade looking stuff, but his color is really cool and the markings on him are also really nicely done. Very neat, fun little find. This is another little Morgan and this one's really cute. I definitely don't remember having this guy. He is kind of like a nice little dun, I think, because he's got a little dun stripe. His color is so pretty, though. I really like his coloring a lot. Just very nice and soft and pretty. I don't really conga this particular stablemate mold, but I really, really love his color. It is so gorgeous. Oh, this is a little vintage stablemate. This is the little saddlebred. This one's really nice, a nice G1 stablemate. And this one looks in really nice condition too. Even has some beautiful little red and white braids. Those are very nice. See, this guy looks like he's going to be glossy. He is a glossy. Oh, he is a little sticky though. Again, this might be able to come off possibly though because it is just a little bit of paper towel fuzz. So I'm not sure on this guy. He looks original finished, but I wonder if he was uh, custom glossed. I'm not too sure. I'll have to uh, look him up and see. I love his color though, it's really pretty and that gloss does really make that coloring pop really nicely. So I'll have to see if I can clean him up a bit there because his color is very, very cool. 
Oh, looks like we got a couple models in here, or three even. Here's a cute little stable mate. Looks like he's got glue on his feet, so he might have been glued onto something at one point. This is really pretty though. Look at that cute little bit of Appaloosa spotting going on. How adorable. I like that a lot. Then we have, looks like two foals in here. They also have a little bit of glue on their feet, so I'm wondering again if these guys were uh, glued onto something at some point, probably. Little Tobiano scratching foal and a little black running foal. Very cute little guys. Here we have a older uh, American Saddlebred stable mate. This is not one of the G1s though, this is I believe G2. This is an interesting one though, I don't think I've seen her around too much. She is definitely one of the earlier releases on this mold. I like her little purple and white braids, they're very cute. This is a custom, this is a fun a little black and white custom stable mate. It's got a very nice pink nose and little detailed eyes, how cool. And this one does have a signature and it looks like an A and an O possibly. Not too sure, but that one is signed at least. This looks like another set, uh, original finished stable mate set. There's some sticky wax to keep the rider on there. Little English rider on the little warm blood stallion here. How adorable. Oh, here we have another G1. This one is really cool. He's got some fun spots on him. And this is the Arabian stallion, I believe, of the G1 stablemate models, which I do really like the G1 molds, by the way. This guy is super fun though with his spots. I'm really digging those. I don't know if they're supposed to be like dapples or Appaloosa spots or bird catcher spots, but they are very cool and fun. Oh, this is another original finish, uh, Briar Stable Mate. This little guy is a cute little Appaloosa. I'm loving those Appaloosa markings on his haunches. This also looks like a dun because he's got a dun stripe on his back. Here looks like another original finish. This is on the little uh, G1 Thoroughbred. This one's got some really neat coloring to it though, and it looks like it is a uh, modern chalky, and that has a white uh, base coat painted onto it before they started painting the model. Kind of see just by how bright his white markings and stuff are in his tail. He's really interesting. I'll have to look up this one as well, because I don't really recognize this one. See where he came from exactly, but I do really, really like his color. Oh, this guy has actually an original finish, I believe. I do kind of recognize him from something. This is a cute little Morgan, but he is tacked up in some Western gear. So I'm pretty sure he did not come with this original Western set. But he does look very cute tacked up. He is an adorable little guy, and I like this little Western tack set and the little rider. And I do really like glossy charcoal, by the way. So this is a little model I'll definitely be uh, sticking in my collection of glossy charcoal models. Oh, I'm seeing what looks to be another custom here. Stablemate Drafter. He's got like spray painted or airbrushed white kind of splattered over him. Oh, here we have another little Andalusian. This is an original finished briar. Very pretty buckskin. He's got a little bit of dust on him. <laughs> That's okay. He is very pretty though. I really like that shade of buckskin on him a lot. Very, very nice color. Here appears to be another custom, and it is sticking a little bit to the paper towel, but not too bad. This is kind of another one that's been done, it looks like, with the white markings as the bare plastic, so kind of an almost a uh, faux OF look to it. It's got some fun paint markings going on, and I love this metallic purple color. Again, I don't think I see a signature anywhere, and I actually think it might be... The, uh, kind of the same pattern. Okay, it's a little different, but a little similar uh, Tobiano pattern to the gold one. So these two make like a nice little pair. Very fun little decorator models. This is actually not a briar. This is a little Peter Stone chip. Gruyo Appaloosa looks like. He's really pretty. This one actually looks kind of familiar to me, so I can't remember if I have him or not. I really like his little Appaloosa spots. They are very small and uh, detailed spots on him there. 
So this is our uh, first Peter Stone chip in here, so there might be more Peter Stone chips in with these models as well. This looks like, oh, a very pretty little original finish. A rearing and illusion stable mate. I'm loving those really pretty Appaloosa markings on him. And he's got some really cool uh, little like flea bites speckles going on as well. That's a really fun color. I really quite like him. Although I will admit I'm a little biased because this is one of my all-time favorite stable mate molds. And I do really love this color. It is gorgeous. Well, we have another custom here. And this one is kind of like these other two. But this one is like a magenta instead of purple or gold. It's got kind of similar Tobiano Pinto markings, but not exactly the same. This is a really fun color on this one though. Like I said, it's kind of a metallic uh, magenta sort of thing going on. This is, oh, I recognize this one. I actually believe I do have this one. This came from a little Briar Circus set, which I believe was from Briar Fest. And it's cool because it's got like a little saddle and it came with like a bunch of little circus things. So this is a really cute one. I have to double check that I do have this one. Here we have another little original finished stable mate. This guy is the little rearing Arabian, and this one is a little bay Appaloosa, but he's very pretty, and I like his little Appaloosa spots. They have little splatter spots, but they are nice and small to go nicely with his scale. He's got a cute little blaze on his face, too. I decided to go ahead and line these guys up on the table here, and there are 35 so far that we've went through. That is a lot. Oh my gosh. So, so far, this has been a fun mix of decorators and original finished stable mates, but we still have more left to go through in this box. So, let's see what else there is. This is another pretty little glossy stable mate who does look to be OF, but again, the gloss is like sticky here, so I'm wondering if he was uh, custom glossed at all. But he does look very pretty in gloss, whoever this pretty little stable mate is. I really like his darker shading at the top of him and then the lighter shading on the bottom. I think that is so pretty. Oh, I do actually know this little guy. I actually have him. This is like a little Briarfest special run stable mate of some sort, I believe. He is a really, really pretty little model though. Really nice little details and beautiful markings. Oh, here we have a G1 stable mate. The Morgan Mare, I believe. She does have some stuff on her there, but that might be able to wash off. Her color is really pretty. I love that really bright chestnut. That is super gorgeous. And she actually looks pretty nice condition if these little two white spots on her will be able to come off. She will look very, very nice. Pretty girl. Another little buckskin and illusion, except this one looks like he is an etchy custom. That is super cool. He's done up in this really pretty Appaloosa. I'm really digging that. That is awesome. Very nicely done little custom it looks like. I think his little leg marking there has been etched as well. Looks very cute. Oh, I recognize this guy. I actually do have this one in my collection already. But it's a really pretty little flea bitten warm blood stallion. And I'll get a close up so you can see those little teeny tiny flea bites. That's what I love about this guy. Is his flea bites are actually like in scale with him. It looks really, really nice. I love just the color on this guy. It looks so good. Oh, and here we have a nice, pretty, little standing warm blood. I really like the color on this one. I really like this Tobiano pattern on him a lot. Definitely don't have this one yet. He's probably going to have to stay in my collection because I really like his markings. They are very, very cute. And I do believe I have this girl. This is one of the little stock horse mares. This one is a very, very bright Palomino. Kind of a bit of a, little bit of a metallic sheen to her as well. Oh, I may also have this guy. I'm not entirely sure. I have to like uh, inventory my stable mates. I don't even know what I have anymore. This is the little uh, Arabian Stallion. G3. He is a very nice kind of almost shiny metallic bay a little bit. It's a bit of those metallic undertones to give him that little pop of metallic shine. Oh, I actually do have this one as well. This is one of the older uh, G1 quarter horse ones. This is an Appaloosa one, although this one is a little bit beat up. I don't know if it'll be able to uh, be whitened up and cleaned up a bit at all or not. But it is a very, very cute mold. 
Here is another G1. This is one in nicer condition. It's a really pretty nice bay. Obviously, it's a much older stable mate. Even has a really nice uh, big pokey seam poking out of his tail there. He is super cute though. I like him a lot. Oh, and I do have this one as well. I believe this is Flicka as the little rearing Arabian stallion. Pretty sure anyway, I do love Flicka. So I do have uh, one of these little stable mates somewhere. She's pretty though, and this one is not a flat black. It's got some little bit of undershading going on there. A little pop of color besides just flat black. Oh, here we have another rider and tack set on this cute little Paso Fino mare. She's got a neat color to her, kind of like a uh, Palomino Roan looking thing going on. I really like that. That's pretty. The little rider here is very cool as well, if the camera will focus on her. It actually looks like she might have been customized a little bit. The little uh, green sparkles of glitter on her, I don't think, were there originally, but I don't know, maybe they were. Not really sure, but she's really nicely painted. She is a really cool little figure, and it's also cute. It's got a big blue ribbon on her neck there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I've actually been wanting this particular stable mate for quite a long time now. I never really came across her when I was uh, ready to buy her or anything. So this is really exciting. I've been wanting this girl for a while. She is the old G1 Arabian mare, but she is done as this really pretty kind of a uh, Gruya looking Pinto, although she doesn't have a dorsal stripe, so she might not be like an official Gruya, but she's so pretty. I love her color and her markings. They are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited to add her to my collection because she is just so pretty. I love her. Here we have a little drafter. This little guy is a little beat up a tiny bit, but not too bad. He's a cute Palomino with some high, like, Sabino markings on him. Pretty cute. Oh, we have another little rider and horse here. Another little English set on a, another one of these uh, G2 Warm Blood Stallions. This one actually, I think, is the same as the other one. Let me check here. They are kind of the same. I think this is the same model, but they do look different. The one on the left here has a lot of more kind of defined little spots all over it, whereas the other one is a little bit more muted. Oh, this is a pretty little Andalusian. This is a nice kind of dappled gray. His dapples are kind of faint to see, though. His face is very pretty. A nice light gray face. The little pink nose. Ooh, I just really like his dark color. That is so pretty. I realize I think I keep calling them all pretty and nice and I can't seem to find other vocabulary words. So I'm sorry if I'm just basically repeating myself in this video over and over again. Oh, we have another custom here. This is a fun wild custom. Look at this little Morgan Stallion. He's got purple and pink kind of a sponging effect on him, which is really cool. This one is super fun. And I do not see a name of the artist written anywhere on him. Here's another Morgan. This one is pretty yellowed, so he'll need some sun time. Actually, one side of him is yellowed and the other side's not quite as yellow. He's a pretty little Bay Pinto uh, Morgan, though. Ooh, this is a neat little custom. This one's actually a realistic one. A chestnut Tennessee Walker. Really like the little details of the hooves. They have little horseshoes on them. Very cute. The little face on this one is also very adorable. Looks like it has blue eyes, I think, and a little bit of a pink nose. That's really cute. And this one is done by KLD07. But it's a very nice one. It looks like it was probably airbrushed, I think. At least that's what it looks like to me, a nice little airbrushed custom. Oh, we have another one of these uh, little Pinto Morgan guys, except this one's a little less yellowed compared to the other one there. This looks like another G1, and it is. I can't remember which one this one is exactly, but it's kind of like a thoroughbred style one, and it's done up in this Bay Appaloosa. Very nice older G1 stable mate. Oh, this is a flashy Tennessee walking horse. 
This one does look original finish and it is a super bright Palomino with purple ribbons in the main. Oh, we have another custom here. This one is a little bit stuck to the uh, paper towel, so I'm going to try and lift it off very carefully. Okay, it's uh, mostly okay. This one's really fun. Now this looks like a brindle kind of style one. Not sure if it's supposed to be totally realistic or not because it's got some kind of different colors going on. It almost looks a little bit like a fantasy model. But it is very pretty. I'm really liking these little bitty stripes. Really nicely done. Has little pretty brown eyes and a beautiful stripe down the face. And this one does have a name. This is done by... I'm going to probably mess it up. It looks like Kayleen Hay something, possibly. It looks like it was done in 08. Oh, I like the little white sock on there as well. There is that cute little uh, Frisian brindle style custom. Here's a cute little Passofino mare in like a dappled gray. She's got that nice, really fine little kind of splattery dapples on her, a lot like the G2 Warmbloods. All right, this looks like another G1 stable mate. I actually have this little guy, but I think mine is really, really beat up. This is another one of these. I can't remember what their names are, but I think it's kind of like a thoroughbred style uh, horse. This one is a kind of nice solid gray with dark points and a dark mane and tail. Oh, and I think I have this guy as well. This is the little G2 Warmblood Stallion, but this one is a little roan. He's like a strawberry roan with these really nice big pinto markings on him. Very cute, and he's got some fun little darker points on his joints and stuff, and on his face. And then this is a little quarter horse guy. He's kind of a really bright, pretty chestnut. Very simple, but very cute. This looks like a, another Andalusian here. This one is a really pretty, nice bay though. I really like that shade of bay. That's very nice. This is one of the little Belgian Percheron drafter mares. She does look like she has a little bit of rubs, but her color is so pretty. It's a nice gray with a little flea bites. This is another one that looks like it has some like metallic undercoating paint or pearly paint to really make that coat shine and uh, stand out. She also has a little purple and white tail ribbon. Oh, this is a cute one. This is a G2 Drafter. That's very nice white with light gray shading. Okay, I haven't really seen this one around, I feel like. Ooh, this is a fun one. This looks like it might be one of the Briar Keychain models. Actually, this could possibly be Double Exposure, I think. Ooh, I have the traditional scale model, but I don't have his little stablemate counterpart. This might be him. I'm not 100% sure on that. Here we have yet another Thoroughbred or whatever this is. I'm sorry I'm not going to get the names right. This is the same as the other one. But the spots on it are quite different. It looks like these were probably released possibly in different years. Because this one has the like splattery spots. And this one has little hand painted spots instead. Very interesting. So these are two of the same model. But probably came from two different years. You can also tell the paint is a little bit different as well. The coloring of them and the shading is just a little different. Oh, I have one of these, I believe. This is a, another G1 stablemate. This is the old dappled gray Arabian mare. This one's got some very loud dapples going on. She is very cute and sweet. And she would look very nice next to my uh, dappled gray Pam mares. They're the same old style splatter dapples. Very nice. Oh, it looks like another G1 model here. This is, oh my gosh, why can't I think of any of their names today? This is, I think, the American Saddlebred or National Show Horse. Again, some kind of gated breed. This is a very nice dark bay. Well, not super dark, but a fairly dark, beautiful bay model here. Very lovely. Ooh, now this guy, I think, actually goes along with the little jade one we looked at a little bit earlier. 
This is like a little uh, Tortuga Briar Connoisseur, kind of a look-alike, sort of. This one is actually clearware, which is going to be hard to see. I'll try to shine a light behind it so you can see it better. So today, Briar does do a lot of clearware stable mates. But this guy, I think, was probably one of the more early ones that they did. So like I said, it's kind of hard to show you because this light and stuff is not the best situation. But you can kind of see there how he is a bit see-through and a very pretty red color. He is really, really gorgeous. Here is an older uh, G2 American Saddlebred. Again, I can tell it's an older one because of the paint job on her. She's probably a late 90s or early 2000 release. She's this kind of soft chestnut with these pinto markings on her. I actually really like her face. She's got a very nice face with this cute little white marking on her. This looks like we got a couple, whoop, three foals actually, I believe here. I'll just pull them all out first and then I'll show you all of them. There is one G2 black foal here with little white socks and a white star. And then two of these G1 laying down foals, which I actually really like this particular mold. It is so adorable and sweet. And these two aren't anything too fancy. They're just a solid black. This one looks like it's a lot blacker than this one, but it might just be because of the dust on this one. I'm not sure. But it is a very, very cute little mold. Here we have another one of these little gated horses. This one is kind of like the other little American Saddlebred. They got kind of similar coloring going on, this kind of same shade of chestnut. And they are both uh, Pintos. They almost look like they're related or something. Oh, here we go, another custom. And this one is a silver Tobiano, kind of like those other ones we looked at earlier. See, it's got a nice silver, metallic silver on it. Again, I don't see any uh, markings on the artist, unfortunately. But now we have a series of four of these little Tennessee walking-like horses. Oh, this is another little fun custom here. Kind of pearly white horse with red hooves and some really fun feathers going on. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like the mane or just decorations in the mane, perhaps. The little ribbons are also painted red and white. This is obviously kind of a red, white, and blue themed horse. Very cute and even has a little tiny gem right there at the front of the forehead. That's quite a fun little model. I really like that idea with the little feathers on it like that. Now we're actually getting down to the last two models here. Oh, this is a nice little Tennessee walking horse. Just a nice simple bay, but kind of like a honey colored bay. This one has green and yellow ribbons and four white socks and a blaze. And then on to our final horse, which actually looks like a couple, never mind. We have another little batch of foals here. I feel three in total. Here we go. We have this really cute little Palomino. Oh, she is really nice. Nice little Palomino foal. Very adorable. We have this cute little base scratching foal. Another very nice little foal. And then we also have this cutie, which is a, another little Pinto. This one actually looks like she would be a nice little foal to go along again with these other ones that are kind of these nice soft pinto chestnuts. All right, there we have it, guys. That was 125 stablemates plus one Peter Stone chip. I believe this is a little less than half of all of the stablemates that are in this collection, so there will be at least one more part of a video like this going through a bunch of the mystery stablemates that are wrapped up. So keep your eye out for that video in the future. Let me know in the comments down below if there is a model from here that particularly stood out to you as one of your favorites. I know for myself it would be this Pinto G1 Arabian Mare just because I've been wanting her for my own collection for quite some time. But there is a lot of fun models in here, quite a cool mix of original finished models and customs. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss more of these collection unboxing videos. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!